If you are tired of playing the same old blue slicks on your guitar, getting a lap steel might do some wonders for you. It's very similar to the guitar, but it broadens your tonal palette and makes you a more attractive session guitarist. In this video, we're going to talk about what gear you need to get started. And we are also taking a look at some beginner and intermediate playing tricks. First off, you'll need the instrument. A lap steel is played by laying the guitar in your lap and using a tone bar on the fretboard and plucking with either your fingers or with finger picks on the strings. This is possible to do with a regular electric guitar, but I would recommend that you use a lap steel as it has raised strings, which makes it a lot easier to play. Compared to a regular electric guitar, it's quite cheap to get a new lap steel or even a vintage one. I learned to play on a Gretsch G5700, which is a fairly priced lap steel that will last you a long time. If you want to take it up a notch, you can find vintage goodies on Reverb, such as the Fender Champion and Student Lap Steels, and even the Gibson Skylar, which is a beautiful Corina lap steel that can be bought for a fairly okay price. At least if you compare them to electric guitars from the same era. You can use the price guide on Reverb to make sure you're buying something at the right price. I'll link that down below in the description. You can get both glass and steel tone bars. They'll sound a bit different, just like slides do, but you'll do pretty good with either. Just grab the first thing you can find, basically. When you've settled on a lap steel and a tone bar, it's time to tune up. You have some options. To get a more classic Hawaiian or even country pedal steel sound, go for the C6 tuning. It requires you to think quite differently from what you know from before, but it gives you the opportunity to play major and minor chords with a tight string tension. If you want a more straightforward route, go with an open tuning instead. Open D and Open E are two popular tunings. I would recommend the open E since the strings are a bit tighter. Amp wise, you're most likely to be good with what you have already. Actually, steel guitars thrive on high powered transistor amps. Take a look at the PV Nashville, for instance, if you want a good lap steel amp. But as mentioned, the one you have from before will probably do. Now you're basically good to go. You might want to add a volume pedal to your signal chain though. It's common practice when playing pedal and lap steel to do volume swells to avoid the pick attack when you're playing. This is a bit tricky in the beginning. Just think that you're doing the heel to toe movement on the volume pedal at the same time as you are plucking the strings. Practice slowly in the beginning and you'll slowly get the hang of it. It also helps to have reverb either in your effects chain or on your amp. If you want to add even more effects, a compressor is probably the next thing you should get. And pro tip number one, place the compressor before the volume pedal. That way you're doing the volume swells with a signal that is already compressed. Placing it after the volume pedal would make the compressor were very hard on the various signals coming through the volume pedal. I prefer to play with my fingers. I use my thumb plus my index, middle and ring finger. When moving the tone bar up the fretboard, you're basically moving a barred core up the neck. First position is F major, third is a G, fifth is an A and so on. Strum all the strings if you want a fuller sound. Strum the last three strings for a thinner, more steely sound. And here's pro tip number two. Since you're tuned to an open E major chord, you probably noticed that a minor chord can be difficult to execute. I don't use the low E string a lot. I figured that if I tune this string to a minor third instead, in this case, a G, I can play minor chords as well. 
you will just have to avoid playing the major third on the third string at the same time. It might seem a bit confusing at first, but eventually it will make sense, I promise you. Now you know how to play major and minor chords, but lap steel is also about single string lines. My tip for you here is to experiment a lot. A good tip for playing in tune and avoid getting seasick is to play with a tuner that tracks your pitch whilst playing. It can be hard to tell if you're flat or sharp in the beginning, so a visual tool like a tuner can be really helpful. And from here it's all practice, practice, practice. Play along with your favorite records or songs, play with friends or band members or even recordings or loops you've made yourself. When you've gotten the hang of it, don't be afraid to experiment with even more effects like long delays, overdrive, fuss or whatever you can think of will probably sound amazing on the lap steel. Have fun when playing, put away the instrument when you get frustrated, but remember to always pick it up again. Best of luck to you, I'll leave some links for you in the description so you can check them out. Good luck and bye!